Have you ever wondered how the English Channel Tunnel, one of the seven wonders of the modern world, was constructed? Ah, the beauty of engineering. The English Channel Tunnel stands not just as a concrete structure, but a testament to our determination and prowess. Imagine this, a tunnel, 37.9 kilometers in length, stretching beneath the sea, connecting two great nations. It's not just a tunnel, oh no, it's a symbol of unity, of connection, of a shared vision. The construction of this spectacular tunnel was no simple feat. It required the combined efforts of thousands of engineers, architects and construction workers, all working in unison to overcome the numerous challenges that lay before them. From the initial blueprints to the final touches, every step in the construction process was a testament to the wonder of engineering. So you ready to dive into this fascinating journey? Let's delve deeper into the timeline of its construction and the intricate process involved. The conception of the English Channel Tunnel dates back to 1802, but it wasn't until the late 20th century that technology caught up with this ambitious vision. From the mind of French mining engineer Albert Mathieu, the initial proposal was for a tunnel with horse-drawn carriages and an artificial island mid-channel for changing horses. But alas, this bold idea faced many hurdles, ranging from political tensions to technical limitations, pushing the realization of the project further into the future. Years turned into decades, and the tunnel remained a dream until the 1980s, when advancements in tunneling technology and a renewed political will sparked a fresh interest in the project. After countless proposals and rejections, in 1987, the UK and France finally gave the green light, signing an agreement that would pave the way for the largest construction project of the century. With the plan set, the monumental task of construction began. The construction of the Channel Tunnel was a feat of engineering, requiring unprecedented planning and execution. In the year of 1987, the groundbreaking moment arrived. A moment that had been eagerly awaited. A moment that marked the start of an ambitious journey to connect two nations under the sea. The process started with the simultaneous digging from both the English and French sides. Imagine thousands of workers, a fleet of enormous tunnel boring machines, and the daunting task of carving a path through the seabed. This was not just any seabed, but one composed of a chalk marl, known as the Blue Marl, which was both a blessing and a curse. It was soft enough to excavate, but had the nasty habit of being permeable to water. Water ingress was another significant challenge. The tunnel was not simply a hole in the ground. It was a complex structure with intricate drainage systems to handle the inevitable seepage from the sea above and the even more inevitable water from the water table below. Teams of engineers had to constantly monitor and manage this, ensuring the safety of the workers and the integrity of the tunnel. Ensuring the safety of workers was paramount. This was a project of immense scale and danger. The workers were not just digging a tunnel, they were carving a path into the unknown, facing the constant risk of water ingress and the ever-present threat of collapse. Yet they pressed on, their determination unwavering, their courage unyielding. One of the most significant challenges was ensuring the two sides met in the middle. With GPS technology still in its infancy, this was a task that required meticulous planning, precise calculations, and a whole lot of faith. Yet they managed it. In 1991, the two sides met, a testament to the determination, skill, and ingenuity of the teams involved. Despite these challenges, progress was steady, and by 1991, the two sides met in the middle. With the tunnel board, the focus shifted to making it operational. Now, we're not talking about just any tunnel here. This is the Channel Tunnel, an engineering marvel that connects England and France under the English Channel. The first order of business was laying the tracks. Each rail had to be meticulously placed, ensuring precision and alignment. The rails were not just a path for the trains, but also a symbol of the connection being forged between two nations. Next came the installation of key systems. Power was a priority. Without it, the tunnel was just a dark, cold void. But with it, the tunnel came to life. The power lit up the tunnel, powered the trains, and drove the entire operation. Ventilation was another critical aspect. Imagine a tunnel over 50 kilometers long. It's not just about getting air in, it's about circulating it, maintaining a breathable environment for tens of thousands of passengers daily. And then there was communication. 
A sophisticated system was put in place, allowing seamless interaction between the trains, the control center, and the outside world. Safety, of course, was paramount. Fire safety systems, emergency exits, and security measures were meticulously planned and implemented. After all, this tunnel wasn't just a marvel of engineering, it was a lifeline for millions. Finally, after over six years of construction, the Channel Tunnel was ready for its inaugural journey. The final touches were complete, and a new era of travel was about to begin. The English Channel Tunnel stands as a testament to human determination and engineering prowess. This colossal endeavor, a feat of ingenuity and teamwork, forever transformed the way we traverse the terrain between the United Kingdom and mainland Europe. Let's take a moment to revisit the extraordinary journey we've embarked on today. We've explored the birth of an idea that took root in the minds of visionaries, the monumental challenge faced by civil engineers and architects, the intricate process of digging deeper, and the meticulous work that went into the final touches. Each phase of construction was a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who dared to dream and build. Today, the Channel Tunnel is more than just a marvel of engineering. It's a lifeline that facilitates travel and trade, fostering closer ties between the UK and mainland Europe. It's an emblem of unity and connection, a physical manifestation of the invisible threads that bind us together in this globalized world. The legacy of the Channel Tunnel extends beyond its steel and concrete structure. It's in the millions of journeys made, the goods transported, the stories shared and the connections forged. It's a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. The Channel Tunnel, a marvel of engineering, continues to inspire us to push the boundaries of what is possible.